I like to use Instagram to, uh, it's a really interesting photo developing software for me personally. I think it's really fun because it allows you to take pictures really easily and then edit and upload them very easily. And I found that it's been a great tool to, uh, to use to learn and practice photography and challenge myself in ways that I wouldn't just using my DSLR. What I primarily use it for is just to sort of develop my style and aesthetic visually. Unlike my DSLRs, I always have my phone in my pocket, which means that I can practice really everything related to photography and cinematography every single day. And I not only in the shooting aspects such as learning composition and to predict motion and camera operation skills, but I also have a much more thorough understanding of post-production in stills and videography to that same extent because I'm able to take a picture and then work on it within moments of taking it all on the same platform and then I can just put my phone back in my pocket and continue through my, throughout my day. It's something that I really like because it's so simple and it really allows you to practice and teach yourself a lot of skills because it's just so available. Sometimes I'll uh, take a good picture, a picture that I like that's, you know, the reason why I think it's a good picture or or the reason why I enjoy taking it, it's all in camera. You can tell just by how things are framed, the color of the moment, the, the situation of the moment that I photographed it. But there are other times what I really liked is just experimenting within the confines of the technology itself. Uh, I was using my phone, I think I had just taken pictures of the storm that hit Philadelphia a few months ago where the clouds looked really just beautiful. They had so much texture, it looked, they looked for they looked for back. Uh, they looked for lack of a better word, painterly, and I, I photographed the clouds and they looked good. But then I just started experimenting with how I could p process the clouds, and I learned that when you have an image that already has a lot of contrast and interesting, interesting design elements, it's so you have so much more room to explore what you can do with that image. Um, for instance, I took a picture I took of the clouds and then I edited it within Instagram and decided to just sort of blow out the clouds and blow out highlights and remove certain elements of detail. And what started out, what started out as uh, just pictures of clouds suddenly looked like a nuclear explosion because of how bright it was and how the clouds sort of looked like fire in the sky just from minor tweaking that I could do within my phone.